Hey guys, uh, Anthony here. Welcome to uh, Monday nights, um, and I just wanted to connect a few dots on a couple of things I saw uh, kind of cross my desk so far today. So I'm in here, I'm just kind of working on wrapping up the second quarter 2018 market report. Excited about what kind of momentum we have in the marketplace, um, not just nationally, but locally. Right? We've got a really exciting local, um, almost renaissance or momentum in our local market. So i um, super excited about that. But what I wanted to uh, to share is a couple things that, that came across my desk. I'm going to share my screen, see if this, this works out for us. Yeah, so um, we'll check this out. A few weeks ago, I had shared, let's see, this article on are you aware of how much equity you have in your home, right? So this was the result of CoreLogic's latest equity report where they revealed that an enormous number of U.S. homeowners have moved into positive equity positions in 2017, which was obviously great news for the country and, and our local economy as well, right? That was just a result of coming across a very large bubble back in 2006, you know, seven that burst as we moved into eight. Uh, followed by a sharper kind, we finally stabilized and started to move into a positive movement in terms of overall equity. And so as a result, we're now, if you remember, 10 years later removed from that, and we're moving into a position where a lot of homeowners are regaining equity. So certainly a great situation. Um, in addition, right, this crossed my desk today. All this article is that was shared by CNBC is just basically solidifying or or you know restating that the situation is only improving even more homeowners are sitting on a record amount of cash and not tapping it right so more and more homeowners are moving into positive positions because two things one they're paying down principal and two their home values are increasing so this is a great overall sign for the health of the market in addition now to connect dots in addition we're also seeing where we have a little bit of a reduction, right? A slide in mortgage rates that's occurred over the course of the last month, right? This was a, a, an article that was released. Uh, it was in the Washington Post and it was shared by Freddie Mac stating that um, mortgage interest rates, both 30 year fixed as well as 15 and, and adjustable rates all took a little bit of a drop over the course of the last 30 to 40 days. This is, this basically has meant that the it increased buying power that's being placed. Now they're naming here first time home buyers, which is fantastic. That's already a competitive segment, but it's creating a scenario where it's perhaps buying some first time home buyers a little more time, a little more opportunity to get in on a, at an affordable opportunity at a lower interest rate. So, um, another really great opportunity. I see the opportunity as being a little bit differently. And that's where, again, I'm kind of connecting dots. If we take the fact that interest rates are lower, and we take the fact that homeowners are sitting on more equity, right? And then we turn that around and we apply it to the other article that I shared a few weeks after that, which is moving up to your dream home, right? Don't wait. We now have an even better opportunity for people that are, you know, have already owned a home for a number of years and moved into a positive equity position. Now, on top of that, we have interest rates that dropped into kind just a little bit more over the course of the last 30 to 40 days. So now we have an even better opportunity for homeowners that want to move up into a dream home, such as this one, to sell at a higher point in the market where they're dealing with more of a seller's market with greater demand and less inventory, and then buy in an opportunity where there's maybe a little bit more inventory, not quite as much demand, because there's so many homeowners that are just sitting on the fence waiting to know, right? right? Like, get ahead of that curve, right? Jump into an opportunity where you can own a home like this, or even, check this out, this is one of those 3D uh, tours that we just did in a home that's going to be hitting the market this week, spectacular home. Right. This is a this is an opportunity to own a home like this that you're never going to be able to own in this particular uh, it, for as as affordably as you can in this particular market. So check this out. Right. At today's interest rates and values where this home is is, you know, nearly 40 percent of what it costs to build, you'd never be able to get into an opportunity like this again. So um, I just wanted to share these couple of things that uh, that, again, cross my table uh, or my desk rather today and I saw them as an opportunity that, uh, that I wanted to share. Check those out. I'm going to share the links to the actual pages on our website for all of those properties, uh, or not the properties, but those articles that I shared so that you can take a look and kind of see the way I think. 
um, and why those, you know, those items just kind of crossed my, uh, crossed my mind and I wanted to just put some of those dots together. So um, check those out. As always, any questions, any way I can help you interpret uh, the market, offer advice, give you a better understanding as to, uh, as to where your opportunities are in today's market. I'm happy to do that. Uh, hopefully I have the answers for you, or if not, I'll certainly do my best to get them for you. All right. Have a super awesome night and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.